The green mark of prosperity stretches over village and town as far as the eye can see. Land and sky have conspired to create this masterpiece of abundance and possibility. This is Kiambu County in central Kenya. The World Bank in the report Bright Lights Big Cities ranks it Kenya's richest county by GDP per capita while recent national statistics rank it among the top 10 counties with the least poverty incidence. But for the county administration, Kiambu is a challenging assignment. Here, hope and misery live side by side and in unceasing contention for the human soul and the bright promise of a country. The prospects are high, but a generation is fighting for soberness. And now this man has chosen to rewrite the story of Kiambu County, one individual at a time. I said clearly that I'm going to make sure that I bring sanity to the field of alcohol. I realized clearly that uh, uh, there's a big problem because uh, most of our youths have been wasted honestly because of being involved in alcohol. They drink from morning up to evening. They wake up very early instead of going to work, they go to, to, uh, to, to alcohol and uh, the traders have also exploited that situation. Our governor is at the forefront, very, 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 very passionate about alcohol. And for reasons that we all know that Kiambu County has been the most affected by the alcohol menace. Alcoholism is a problem that has progressively etched itself into the story of almost every family in Kiambu County. Stories that end in death or pain of broken families, shattered dreams and failed enterprises. Hii pombe lianza kuingia kabisa. Na ukiangalia hawa watoto wale wamezaliwa kutoka wakati hiyo, wengi hata wengi walipotea kwa pombe, walikufa. Iko mama moja ama family moja imepoteza kama watoto tano. Ni hiyo pombe tu. In a village uh, like in Makwa Katodo South and Katukuyu about the people there were burying not less than five people in a month just because of alcohol and the big biggest business in those areas were that the, the people are going for a bury after two three days daniel vega is lucky to be alive having been an alcoholic for decades losing friends to the bottle along the way. His is a story of a generation that intoxicated their lives away. Tukiamuka saa moja, basi, tutanasa spobe. Tutaka kunjua, tutaka kunjua. Baka usiku ina saa fika, umesa hau, usiku ina fika. Saa hau, ndaitada tuna kukunjua, pia. Hata nikiamuka, hata ngobe, nimesa hau kama nikona ngobe. Mesao kama niko na kuku nitaweza pega chakula. Nikakunywa tu na kaitana na kukunywa na na ngobe inaitana na kukonda. Pia kuku inaweza ina unatolewa kuku ukiza ukifungulia kuku inaweza mwagika inaweza aguka. Eh kwa sababu jaa ni mingi. Nimesahau kwa kukunywa. Eh ilifika wakati sasa msichana wangu wa Kwa kwasa alikuwa nimechukuriwa na bradha yangu, yule mkubwa, di alikuwa na msomesa. Wapiri sasa alikuwa, ameingia kidato, alikuwa form, form 2. Sasa nikaona maisha imenilemea sana. Hata uh, kuna wakati alikuwa amemuitisha baba yake school fees. Akasema atamuletea silikuwa kwa simu, akaenda akatoa, sika perekwa kwa pombe. Sasa hapo nikasikia kama ni kuenda ama ni kukaa kwa boma 
Sijui nifanya nini. For Governor Waititu, fighting alcoholism goes far deeper than any obligatory duties that a public officer would bear. It is personal. My, my parents had parted ways, separated for almost 20 years just because my father was a, a heavy drinker. And I therefore know that so many other families have suffered the same. And so many people have testimonies of uh, the, 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 the bad effects that uh, are brought about by alcohol and uh, these illicit tools. As I recall, our county or governor, Kuja, you see, could you go in Kabisa, you need to go in Berewa. Is a Jua, Nika, Nikigi, Oko, Kamukutan, and Kuja, and Kuja, and Kuja, and Kuja, and Kuja, and Kuja, Governor Casema and attack you out to watch a pope. Kukunua, Navale, and a picker, a watch. A Casema at a dikawatu, Patu Miamoja. Idi Wawana come out a badrika, or could you a pump? Mini Likuangam Levy San Lakinis Kumoja Nilikutana Governor, Ilikua Square. Wednesday. Can you listen? Come and as a fanya kazi ni kama ambi andio. Mi na kunywaga pombe juu ya kukosa ka kazi. Akan ni ambi anta ni tapati ya kazi. Ni kama ambi anta furai ya ata iyo pombe sasa ni achana na. Ata ya kafurai ya. Na ni liona tu ali furai. Pia watu wengi wali furai sana wali piga makofi sana uko. Waki ni tangaza shiro baby shiro baby. Na mina waonesha kido, unajua sasa pombe ilikuwa juu. Kitwa ilikuwa angatu aire. The success of any government initiative relies heavily on sound legal grounding. For this reason, the office of the governor developed soon after assumption of office a comprehensive policy document on control and regulation of alcoholic drinks which was taken through the legislative process by the county assembly and enacted into law as the Kiambu County Alcoholic Drinks Control Act 2018. You see what a law does, it creates for you a framework within which you are supposed to um, implement any of the functions. So what this law does is first to create the whole system of administration who is supposed to be responsible for that uh, bill uh, or that law. Because when you do a law, it must be, it must have its implementers. So the administrative uh, part establishes the administrators of this uh, law. Uh, it brings in the county executive member, it brings in the directorate, it brings in a whole lot of um, licensing officers, uh, committees, all of them who are now responsible for implementing the act. The Act is not only comprehensive in the manner in which it addresses the issues in alcoholic drinks control, but also in delegating roles and decision-making, ensuring that communities play a key role in attaining the results that they desire. In three broad areas of operation for which highly inclusive committees have been established, the Office of the Governor works side by side with members of the community in driving results as anticipated in the Act. The committees are Licensing Committee, Enforcement Committee and Appeals Committee. And uh, we have ensured that in those committees we have residents from those wards, not elected by ourselves as the executive but by the people. For your information, uh, the Governor together with, the, with his team um, went around the, all the 12 sub-counties and ensured that all the wards nominated at least three persons to sit in those committees from which he's going to appoint at least one person from each ward. And those persons appointed uh, in each of the, the sub-county to represent their wards are going to sit with, together with the county members to now process all applications. 
for licensing. And they are the ones who will be responsible for addressing public complaints. Uh, they will be responsible for ensuring that um, all objections are addressed. And if any person or any group of persons feels that a certain bar should not be in a place, that committee will pronounce itself in that respect. And I'm sure they will most likely, and I'm almost confident that they will honor the residents' uh, objection. The process of licensing is elaborate. Conditions and standards are laid out that brewers, distributors, bar operators, and all other players must adhere to before getting the Nord to operate. This ensures only safe alcohol is sold in the market. We are also engaging them because we want them to understand that we have no problem with people who trade in brews that are authorized. The problem is that, uh, and what we are really trying to protect our people from, it's like you could see that um, you are buying a drink in the name A or B, but actually what is inside that bottle is not drink A or B. Somebody has taken that bottle after somebody consumed the original drink and has put in another concussion. As a way of guaranteeing conformity to the conditions of licensing and safeguarding the market and community from illegal operation, the Act provides for enforcement. Enforcement operations are carried out every day by frequently trained county Ascaris with the support of community representatives and most importantly, reformed alcoholics. These on enforcement officers, uh, a majority of them actually come from the various wards. So we are going to those wards and the 60 wards in Kiambu County and then we are actually identifying. It's more or less like talent searching. Those people who have the passion for enforcement and then we are bringing them to our, uh, to, to our enforcement unit so that we initiate what we can call community embracement or community acceptance such that the community can accept that these people, they are law enforcers who have come to our place and they are people that we know and people who, are, uh, uh, who, are, who, may, who mean good for, uh, for this uh, world, where they come from. Closed for business and rightfully so, just three months into implementation and the Kiambu County Alcoholic Drinks Control Act 2018 has its impact glaring in shopping centers and villages across the county. Bars and nightclubs that have not complied are closed, and so are wines and spirits shops. We have also outrode completely our wines and spirits shops. We don't want to see them. Because they have been cause of the problem. Most of the problem has been from these small shops here and there for wines and spirits and we will have outrolled them completely. We, only, we are only going to have bars. And if anybody wants a nightclub, they are going to get uh, a, an approval from the residents of that area. Even as the law takes its course, bringing traders of alcoholic drinks and consumers into shape, not everyone is happy. Some traders are holding out for dodgy profit while some consumers are clutching to the now dwindling drops of illicit brew. The owners has always resisted paying licenses. But this time around, we are saying everybody must pay the licenses. There's no shortcut. And then every bar owner must meet some conditions, which are already set in our own bill of 2018. Some, some people have been making a lot of money, definitely and they have to fight back because they cannot part with those very uh, big incomes just like that. I know they fight a lot, but I'm determined to push it through. And uh, this is something that so far I have a lot of support. As a standard of democratic society, the Kiambu County Alcoholic Drinks Control Act 2018 provides redress mechanisms for industry players who are not satisfied with enforcement actions. Traders or community members who are not satisfied with certain decisions of the licensing or enforcement committees can seek redress with the appeals committee. 
The committees are constituted to operate independent of each other, ensuring transparent and fair decision making. The fight against illicit brew and irresponsible consumption of alcohol in Kiambu County is not all combat and law. In a stick and carrot approach of sorts, Governor Waititu's administration demonstrates the empathy and desire to find sustainable solutions that underpin all this effort. Opportunity is provided for alcoholics to not only quit irresponsible drinking, but also build their lives over again through rehabilitation and progressive gainful engagement. Right now we have close to 4,000 people, 4,000 youths who have been rescued and we have put them in a program. To begin with, we give them breakfast every morning. We then uh, give them lunch and in the evening we give them a, to a token of uh, a certain amount of money that they take home. So uh, slowly, slowly uh, they, are, they, are, they are gaining health and they are quitting the habit, which is very good. And the primary purpose of this is for them to quit that habit. And we will reta because of what you asked about sustain sustainability. We are going to uh, enjoin them into circles or into groups. Uh, and uh, w the county will help them to um, open some businesses uh, so that they can be traders and earn money from their own uh, t type of sweat. With the leadership of His Excellency, our Governor Babayao, we are, as a county and as a department, committed to the fight against illicit brews and alcoholism. The approach we're using, therefore, is one that is comprehensive and all-inclusive, to include creation of awareness to all, treatment of the affected persons, and their rehabilitation and reintegration into society as persons of impact. Part of the recommendation of the Kiambu County Alcoholic Drinks Control Act 2018 is production of annual reports on progress and milestones. And while work has only begun and no report is out yet, the people are keeping count of milestones and impact. I think one of the beneficiaries of particularly controlling the illicit uh, brews is going to be the conventional uh, bars. Because if those people are not taking those, those uh, irisate, uh, changa and whatever, if they do a good job, at the end of the day, remember the motto for Tasca, Bada Yakazi. Si Badara Yakazi. So what we are doing as Kiambu County is ensuring that we go back to Bada Yakazi instead of Badara Yakazi. The office of the governor has placed Kiambu County well on its way to breaking the chain of the bottle. Sai sai ni mapatrika. Matanajua kitabu hakuna, kalamu hakuna, uniform ikisha. Hizo. Akadia si tachua. Berani saa 2 asubuhi tulikuwa tunagota watu hapa kwa barabara. Leo hakuna. Hii shop center inangara. Inangara ati hata mgeni akiingia hapa anaona hii ni makwa ingine. Mabadiliko ile iko hapa. Hatuwezi kusema Potential is not eaten, potential is exploited. So a lot will depend on how we, the executive, will be able to work together and also work with the population so that we move in the right direction. The story of Kiambu County is a story of steady evolution of people and institutions towards a future of shared goals, one day at a time, one individual at a time. <laughs>